Welcome back, guys. Today, we're going to look at some of the jaw-dropping scenes from around the world of opening a dam spillway after many years. We're going to share some footage of these giants from across the world, so watch till the end. You'll be witnessing some big, powerful splashes of silty water full of giant boulders gushing through the spillways, creating a horrible scene all around. Without further ado, let's delve straight in. Before I start my actual video, I thought why not share some helpful insights about the spillways of dam, its type and function. It's always good to learn something new beside enjoying and getting amazed. Spillways are crucial components of dams, designed to safely release excess water. They prevent overflow and protect the dam structure from potential damage. When water levels in the reservoir rise beyond capacity, the spillway channels the surplus water downstream, maintaining the balance and integrity of the dam. There are several types of spillways, including overflow, chute, and side channel spillways. Overflow spillways allow water to flow over the crest of the dam. Chute spillways guide water down a steep incline, often lined with concrete to prevent erosion. Side channel spillways divert water into a channel parallel to the dam before it is released downstream. The operation of a spillway involves several stages. When water levels reach a certain point, gates or valves open to allow water to flow through the spillway. This controlled release prevents sudden surges and ensures a gradual flow of water, reducing the risk of downstream flooding. Spillways are equipped with energy dissipation structures, such as stilling basins or baffle blocks, to break the force of the water, minimizing erosion and turbulence. These components work together to ensure the spillway functions effectively, safeguarding the dam and surrounding areas. In essence, spillways are vital for dam safety, efficiently managing water flow and protecting communities downstream from potential flood hazards. So, we're starting our journey with this amazing Jiroff Dam in Iran. Just see how it ejects the horrible spurt of sediment deposit. After 30 years of drought and sediment buildup, the dam in Iran has been reopened marking a significant moment for the region. The prolonged closure had left the dam unfilled and its valve clogged with mud and silt. The next on our list is the footage from the Lake Harwell Dam spillway release back in 2018. The dam was built by U.S. Army Corps of Engineers back in 1962. With an overall capacity of 421 megawatts, its spillways were again tested in March 2024. The Hartwell Dam floodgates are typically open for flood control, maintenance, and or inspection. The rare occurrence and visual splendor attract many curious onlookers. Hearing the loud, horrible siren, the next video is also from a dam in Pakistan. The reason for choosing this video is the funniest comments I've read in the thread. Here was the comment, This is a surprisingly accurate visual representation of how it feels when you've had a cold for days, and your sinus congestion finally clears up. And another comment was, Straight after the morning coffee, now let the day begin. This is a video of Neelam Jellam Hydropower Project in northern area of Pakistan. It's a 969 megawatt hydropower project, one a kind in Pakistan.
Hearing this Chinese is a one-year-old video of the Glen Canyon Dam, a giant helping regulate the Colorado River. Well, this dam comprises of a massive concrete arch gravity structure on the Colorado River in northern Arizona, stands as a significant feat of engineering and a symbol of modern water management in the American Southwest. Completed in 1966, the seven 10-foot tall dam was built to create Lake Powell, the second largest artificial reservoir in the United States, providing essential water storage for the upper basin states under the Colorado River Compact. Now this footage is when the officials opened the spillways to help improve the environmental conditions of the Colorado River and to move the accumulated sediment downstream and avoid erosion by building the beaches on the river.